Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and today I want to do a quiet time vlog. I don't know if you can hear, but it's a thunderstorm outside. So it's thundering. Um, it's a lot of rain. It was a lot of wind. The wind has calmed down, but now that means I can't go outside for my daily walk. So I said, uh, two thirds of the children are away. My husband took Jason Bella to see his mom and Ariana's here doing her own thing in the living room. So I said, let me just see how much I can get done today. I haven't had a extremely quiet, quiet time in a long time without having to run, go put some out on the butt, you know, uninterrupted. So I don't know how long my husband's gonna be away, but I still plan on vlogging and trying to get this quiet time done, which um, my only interrupting person usually is Bella. So she's away, so I'm gonna take advantage of this. Um, Y'all know I took time to root out everything I wanna do for a day, so I won't be sitting here like, uh, what am I gonna do? Today I'm gonna do a verse mapping um, and devotion of today is peace, daily moments of peace. This is one of my favorite devotions and this is um, my one year devotion that got me into saying, let me check out even more. So love this. This one is by, oh, this is a Motai um, Arthur one. When they say daily moments of, usually they're by a whole bunch of people, not just one person. So I'm gonna read this one. Um, I already know what I'm gonna do as far as that. My book of reading today is supposed to be Finding Peace by Charles Stanley. I'll be honest with you all, even though I set a motion and plan to read a book, the book is usually the thing that really doesn't get done. Like I make everything else a priority, but who knows? Today's peaceful, it's rainy. I should have time to read a book. Um, what else? I'm gonna share some things with y'all that I wasn't able to share in another video. Um, I went out with my sisters for their birthday and went to this uh, thrift type store and got this. And y'all know that it's been on my heart to get workbooks. I want workbooks, like, um, that's just the bottom line of it. I want Christian workbooks, like books based on different books of the Bible, different concepts, ideas, verse mapping. I want them. And um, I'm trying to debate now which type I want to get now. I think the most convenient one for me would be get a first mapping one because I'm often writing this or finding a printable or writing it out myself and that would take away from that and that would actually probably prompt me to be more eager to do the first mapping. But this one is um, Behold Your God, The Weight of Majesty by John Snyder. It's a daily devotional workbook, uh, the 12-week study comp companion to The Weight of Majesty. A companion. So I guess I gotta get the other one, huh? Nonetheless, I can't wait to dive into this. Um, like I said, I just love workbooks. And then also, on a previous video, I showed you guys these sticky notes. I know my lighting is really like this. It's stormy out, so natural lighting is out of question. I got my bit light off because I was trying to record here. But I know you guys can see me in the ring light at least. And I want to paint a realization of what it looks like. Like, this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna turn my little desk light on. But anywho, and I obviously charge my phone. Um, I found the little sticky notes first and then I went back and they have the long ones and they have more color options. And I'm just like, yes, cause these actually match my highlighter. So I'm gonna be using these um, during my quiet time today or one at a time actually I don't plan on like just using a bunch of them because I usually like study like one particular thing at a time and I think what I'm gonna do today is that whatever verse um from my peace devotion is uh in here I'm gonna read within that passage or like if it's a verse from a particular psalm I'll probably just read that psalm um and do my notes and study like that um, the Bible I have before me is probably not what I'm going to use now that I think about it. Um, I have the Inspired Faith Bible in front of me, but I think I'm going to use my Jesus Bible. I think. I don't know yet. Because I had no intentions of putting a whole bunch of sticky notes in this one. But we shall see. And I got my little bag here from Dollar Tree. I probably use my favorite highlighters and favorite pens. 
And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I already talked too much and I wanna take advantage of this quiet time. So I'ma go ahead and get started and I'ma check back on with y'all. Um, I don't know how often yet, but I'll check back in. So as you can see, when I get into my little studies all good, the storm literally passed. <laughs> but back to natural lighting. Okay, so I did bring some additional things to the table. So I just want to share that with y'all, uh, which this was already at my desk, but I put it on top of my desk because I'm using it. This is um, the Study Bible ESV on um, personal size. And I looked up the scripture um, from the reading and I looked at the notes and the cross-reference scriptures because I'm also gonna need that to do the verse mapping. I also decided to grab my uh, Mr. Penn Faith Planner because I wanna keep a little record of all that I've done right now so I can, so I don't forget to share something with you all that, okay, this was included in my time. The only thing I didn't do was include the actual time, but okay, <laughs> nonetheless, um, so yeah, um, I read the, uh, Daily Moments of Peace and I read today's date, which was May 27th and it's wasted time. And I said, God, are you going to get me all the way together in front of people? But he did. Um, what's the good condition? Um, the scripture for the devotion is Deuteronomy 6 and 5 and it says, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart all your soul and all your strength. And um, this devotion is so good. I actually want to read it really quickly. Um, <clears throat> recently, our pastor asked us to write down how much time we spent on various activities each day. For example, cleaning, working, playing with the kids, praying, etc. He said that this would help us determine what we value most. At the end of the week, I realized that I had wasted a good portion of my time doing unnecessary things. On Saturday alone, I spent two hours on a computer and a few more at the mall while the kids attended a birthday party. What I hadn't done much of was spending time in the Word with God. I had let time with Him be crowded out until the end of the day and i only pray for a few minutes before falling asleep on tuesday afternoon my six-year-old and i had planned to have some mummy daughter time we decided earlier in the week to go to the playground together when i was ready for her after school she told me that all the neighborhood kids were going to play a game of kickball and asked if she could join them she'd completely forgotten about our plan time together I acted like it was no big deal and assured her we could have girl time another day. Then I watched her run off to join her friends. As I stood by the front door watching her, it dawned on me how God may feel when I plan on spending time with him, but then do something else. Have you ever analyzed how you use your time? Try keeping a journal for a week. Track how much time you spend doing each of your daily activities and it will show you what your priorities are. Ask God to help you determine how to invest your time. You can start by scheduling a specific time each day to meet with your Heavenly Father. So we know that scheduling faith planning is a big deal because it's beneficial to you and it takes away the guessing. Like, okay, this is what I planned. This is what I did or didn't do. But let me just go over my little notes here in my Jesus Bible. I wrote on the sticky note, actually. And I just put, don't waste your time. Put God first, devote yourself to him, seek his kingdom, put these words on your heart. Because we do know that when we meditate on scripture and we're familiar with scripture, we're more likely to adhere to it and to apply it. So if we're saying that we love God with everything we, uh, I'm gonna put what I said, love God with everything within you and everything you have. Because we have so many materialistic things that um, they're not in vain. You know, we just, we ask God for wisdom to how to apply and use these things. Like for me, for example, we have this sort of kind of extra room here. And I'm like, Lord, we need a room devoted to you. So when we come in here, it's all for God. Um, my phone, 
even though it's not a call text phone, I use it to record and do my videos with. Like I use it for the glory of God. Um, what else? Um, me and my husband have been talking about taking care of our bodies. And we have already took steps to take care of our mental health. This is still for the glory of God because, you know, we have a church. We want to be around a long time. We want to enjoy our children for a long time. And we want to be well so that we can do all the things that God wants us to do. Um, it's just something to think about. Like, how much time do you spend with God? Like, how much time do you set aside for him? And like the devotion said, you designate a specific time of day, you're more likely to accomplish that versus winging it. Because oftentimes like the person who's writing the devotion, if you wing it, you don't think about it till the end of the day when you're all worn out, you're tired, and you don't have much left of you. But when you balance your day out, you can get things done more effectively. So that was my goal of taking a regular calendar and filling in the pieces so that I don't spend time trying to figure out what to do and so that I can see what needs to be done as far as my time with God. So that first part is done. Now I'm going to go into this printable. I think it's called, um, the website is called uh, Him Illustration or Him Illustrated dot com, I think, um, and gives you a free uh, printable, gives you a sample of verse mapping, and then it gives you a blank template, which you can't see because of the lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and use one, and then I'm going to come back and talk to you all. And I, I'm going to use the same verse um, from Deuteronomy 6 and 5, which is another thing that is beneficial. Like if you have a devo devotion, read a devotion, don't let devotion be your quiet time, but let it help expand your quiet time and make use of your quiet time. Like look at devotion as the milk. And then when you grab your Bible and you look at cross references and read a whole passage, that's your meat and you sit there and you study that. That's how I look at it. But anyway, let me go and get this done. And then I'm gonna check back in with y'all. As y'all can see, it's still quiet here. The kids are still gone. So I'm gonna check back in in a minute. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so it's been a long time. Um, dinner was eight, a little cleaning, a little playing, um, a little time to, it got loud, yeah. But I was able to push through. Um, I was near the end of what I was doing anyway, so I decided to step away a little bit. Um, so I got my notes here that I just read to you guys earlier in reference to the scripture. I finished my uh, verse uh mapping sheet that I told you guys about and um obviously this was Deuteronomy 6 and 5 and I wrote it down in the NASB and then I wrote it again in the NIV which is the Bible I was using um I gotta finish writing my cross reference that's the whole point of me coming back to the disc and then I'm like I gotta finish this video so excuse me for all the shaking and moving around because that's that's real life like you, you get it in where you can so um cross reference for verse 5 Matthew 22 36 37 got that Mark 12 and 30 and that was the other verse sorry about the shaking I know y'all don't like that um Luke 10 and 27 no matter how soft I write it still shakes and that's because my phone is heavy for the tripod anyway all right, so, all right, so that's what I wrote. That's my cross reference. Um, the words I chose to look or to uh, define is shall, love, Lord, God, and so. Um, I forgot the little insert of context. But anyway, on the side, the options are. I know the lighting is. You got context, cross-reference, God is, I am, and the gospel glimpse. And of course, I choose to um, zoom in on when Jesus was upon us on earth, when they ask him, which is the most important? And, you know, if you backtrack to the past, you realize that God gave that command first. It was the first command. So, you think about all the patterns of God, your first fruit, the firstborn, the first commandment, 
you just put God first. Like first is priority. And that's how we naturally think like whatever I choose to do first is the most important thing to me. And of course, Jesus echoed that because um, Jesus was God in flesh, right? He was the word. And he said, the greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart and all your soul. And the second is to love your neighbor. And the sum of the commandments can be summed up in those two. So the more you understand that, the more you understand how to go about life and how to prioritize your life. And like I said, it's just significant and valuable and just an amazing thing that God allowed me to read that particular devotion on this day and this verse when I'm recording about a quiet time video. How cool is that? So maybe someone needed to hear that. Prioritize God, put him first, let your day evolve around his time, not the other way around. Because like the young lady who wrote the devotion, we tend to try to squeeze God in, in the bare minimum, and then wonder why we don't get good results. Like, if you want that intimate, quality, sound time with him that's full with uh, quantity and quality, you put it first and you make it a top priority. Like, we think about, like, the first hour of your day, you can get that done and over with and be content and fulfilled because you have given God his due. And this is not to say that you minimize it on hour or two hours or 30 minutes because each person has a different amount of time to invest. But the main thing is the best time is the first time or the first part of your day because it's easier to remember. And as you can see, the kids are getting loud and you can check it off your list and go about your day. Anyway, same thing with your finances, right? Like you go ahead and give God what's due to him and then you figure out the rest. And God usually always, without a shadow of a doubt, take care of you. You take care of him, he will take care of you. All right, so yeah. So that was my little sheet and I filled out in its entirety almost. I just gotta do the I am, which I'm not too sure about that. I gotta read the, I am, I just, it didn't give an example. So maybe I gotta look for another sheet or something. Um, I could just put, I am going to put God first. That's what I'm going to put. I'm going to do better at putting God first. That's what I'm going to say. All right, so. I read the verse in the Bible. I did verse mapping. I read my devotion. Um, now I can go into my planner. My planner has a verse as well. And let's see here. I read the Bible. I did my peace devotion. Verse mapping. I am recording. I am about to post. And I need to clear phone space. I need to read my book. And finish this for the most part but just this is y'all know what this is you just read a verse you got your reflection questions and you take little side notes on the side so i'm pretty much almost done um this was very good this was very productive i hope this was enlightening to you obviously each day is different which i'm gonna try my best to since i got my stuff set out per day to try to come back on and record more of these because again, I enjoy these videos and I like seeing what other people do as well. So hopefully this was something you enjoy. Um, let me know in the comment section or let me know if there is a specific aspect that you like to zoom in on. I'm here to serve you. So whatever type of video you think you would want to see, let me know in the comment section. But um, yeah, this was fun. And I actually might be able to post this tonight. This is what it is 9.20. I give it to about 10 o'clock, which a lot of you guys are like Western. So don't even really matter how late I post because you guys are going to tune in. But um, yeah, um, talk to me in the comment section. What does your quiet time consist of? Um, are you big in verse mapping? Um, do you recommend a verse mapping book, workbook? I have a, I, my eye on a couple of ones. Um, a few of them are actually by other YouTubers like Nikki Drake and... I'm just trying to figure out which one will be the best for me, which I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to get one of hers anyway because um, I, I love what she's doing over there on her channel and I love all her little creativity. Even her daughter creates a lot of stuff. Um, 
I had recently purchased um, the bookshelf printable, you know, the one that has the uh, Bible names on it. I think I showed that to y'all. I've stuck it in this Bible. So you can kind of mark off um, when you get to one and when you have read one. This one right here. Recently purchased that from her daughter. Her daughter makes a lot of stuff too. So support. All right. So love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.